now this lesson will be on the uh, this lesson will be on how we apply passive composing in the previous lesson what we learned was we learned the various verbs the first part that i wrote on the board was the list of verbs that are conjugated with enter and the others apart from the list are conjugated with apua now i told you just learn them okay you don't need to know what does it mean just learn them so abhi i will be telling you on the board what you have learned and how you will understand now how quickly you'll be able to grasp the topic of passive composing only if you have done what i i had asked you to do learning the 16 verbs that are conjugated with enter and second learning the various past participles of the verb the past participles are the same way the past tense that we've learned in english also go went come came eat ate that is similar to that only and the uh, auxiliary verb the there are two auxiliary verbs in french être and avoir that you will come to know right now now what i want you to do is i want to i want you to just close your books put them away and focus your attention only on what i'm writing on the board just try and understand this you will have ample time to make notes take i will be sending you notes by a pdf also there are notes in your book also and you will have this lesson also as a video recording so you can watch it as many times as possible so that you are able to grasp the topic in the best possible manner right now pay attention on what i'm writing on the board. Passive composite part two. Okay, part one was just the learning part that we had to do. Now we're doing part. Two. Now, firstly, I would like to tell you, this passive composite is the first tense which is having double conjugation. this is the first time you will be doing a verb a tense in which there are double conjugations involved two verbs are being conjugated so this will be your base for learning future compound tenses there are many tenses like this in french and you will be learning them by class 10 this will actually form the basis okay we have conditional passé we have future on the air we have to skip our pay there are so many tenses that have compound conjugation and the uh, better you understand passive composite the same way you'll be you, that will actually form the base for learning any compound tense this is going to be a lengthy topic divided into parts i will not be doing all the parts at the same time so because i know i want you to grasp the topic in the best possible manner please do what i ask you to do no ifs and buts okay just do what i'm asking you to do and then in the end you will come out successful theek okay? hai just just trust what i'm saying you know you need to have faith ki ma'am has taught thousands of students till now thousands of students and teachers as well so ma'am knows how to teach this topic in the best possible manner and now you just need to cooperate with what ma'am is saying that's it Je mange une pomme. That's a simple present tense sentence. I am eating an apple. Je mange une pomme. Okay. Now I want to convert this sentence into the past sentence, simple past form. I ate an apple. Now how do I do that in French? Now look close. Where is the verb in this sentence? Manger. Verb is the action word. this is the action word here now here in the sentence you have this verb mange right now does mange fall in the category of dr mrs wandertram or no that's the first question that you're going to ask whenever you have a sentence in front of you and you have to convert it into passive composite the first step will be identify the verb where is the verb okay this is the verb Now, secondly, 
what you need to do is does this fall into the category of doctor mrs wondertram the 16 verbs that ma'am wrote on the board yes or no no so this verb is not conjugated with f if it is not conjugated with f then is kis sath conjugate hoga option kya the hamare paas auxiliary kitne hai french mein do to agar ye f ke sath conjugate nahi hota to ye ab wo f ke sath conjugate hoga theek hai अब कॉन्जुगेट होने का इसके साथ कॉन्जुगेट होने का क्या मतलब है ठीक है व्हाट यू मीन बाय कॉन्जुगेटिंग द वर्ब विद और दैट यू विल कम टू राइट प्लीज पे अटेंशन हियर दिस वर्ब विल बी कॉन्जुगेटेड विद अब राइट अब अब को सब्जेक्ट के साथ पहले कॉन्जुगेट करें और अब को सब्जेक्ट के साथ पहले पास्ट पार्टिसिपल में लिख देंगे जो आपने याद किए थे यू लर्न द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल ऑल्सो सो वट इज दास्ट पार्टिसिपल ऑफ एल पी आर वर्क इज नॉर्मल जी ई आर वर्क सो वट इज दास्ट पार्टिसिपल ऑफ एल पी आर वर्क यू डू मूव आर एंड यू फुट एन एक्स ऑफ दैट इज द पास्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एल पी आर वर्क सो जे मॉन्जे एंड देंटेंस रिमेन्स एज इट इज द रेस्ट ऑफ देंटेंस Easy, isn't it? क्या किया मैं? Again, I am explaining this topic again. Whenever you have a sentence, ठीक है? What do you do? The first step is, what is the first step? Identify the verb. You need to identify which verb is there. What is the verb in the sentence? And second, you have to see, analyze. Does this fall into Doctor Mrs. Wonderland category? Does this fall into Doctor Mrs. Wonderland category? Does it fall into that? That's it. That is the second point that you need to ask. Then, if yes, then. And the rest of the sentence remains as it is. Identify the verb. Check whether the verb falls into Doctor Mrs. Wondertram category. Yes or no. If it falls into the Doctor Mrs. Wondertram category, then you conjugate it with er. If it doesn't fall into the category of Doctor Mrs. Wondertram, then you conjugate it with abwa. Now, conjugation ka kya matlab hai? Wo humne apko I have just told you. What do you mean by conjugate with abwa? I will be sharing the entire lesson on your WhatsApp. Don't worry, I will share it with you. That's why I said don't focus on writing right now. Just concentrate what I'm teaching on the board. Now, Anch has joined in late, very late. Now, see. Now we go back to another example. If uh, another sentence that I'm writing on the board, il va a Paris. He is going to Paris. He goes to Paris. Okay, this is the sentence that I've written. Now, identify. The first point was the first step. Identify the verb in the sentence. Where is the verb? This is the verb. Now, what is the imperative of this verb? Ali. Now, Ali, you have to check Ali falls into Doctor Mrs. Wonderland category. Yes or no? Yes. So here, it will be conjugated with ethro. Conjugated with ethro ka kya matlab hai? Ethro ko conjugate karna hai subject ke saath. So here, il is the subject. We conjugated ethro. And this verb ka main verb ko past tense mein likhna hai. 
आले की फर्स्ट फॉर्म क्या है Now, isn't it easy? I I must tell you, passive composer is not at all easy, but it's actually the way you do it. You know, the approach you make towards this tense that makes it easy or difficult. Now, if you had been doing above conjugation, alag se uske baad then after conjugation, that would actually be very very difficult. But this is the main. Gist of passive composing. Now there are many other rules to be followed with passive composing. ठीक है, there are many rules involved with F. Many different rules. We will come over to that rule in next step. Abhi, as of now, what you need to understand is how to change a sentence into past tense. ठीक है, the main gist of the topic is what I'm teaching you on the board. I am not. Uh, Including all the rules as of now, I want you to get just the basic hang of the topic, and I will take up any doubts if you have. I can see hands up. Now here, I will explain the topic once again. Okay, listen carefully. Whenever you get a sentence, okay, first of all you identify the word. This is the word in the first sentence. Now you check in your mind. क्या ये डॉक्टर मिसेस वॉन्डर ट्रैम कैटेगरी में फॉल करता है डस दिस फॉल इनटू द कैटेगरी ऑफ डॉक्टर मिसेस वॉन्डर ट्रैम यस और नो इफ यस देन वी कॉन्जुगेटेड विद एफ इफ नो वी कॉन्जुगेटेड विद अबुआ नाउ दिस डजंट फॉल इन द कैटेगरी सो वी कॉन्जुगेटेड विद अबुआ कॉन्जुगेटिंग विद अबुआ व्हाट डज इट मीन इट जस्ट मींस दैट यू कॉन्जुगेट अबुआ विद द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस व्हाटएवर द सब्जेक्ट इज वी जस्ट कॉन्जुगेट अबुआ विद इट ठीक है and after conjugating avoir main verb jo aapka main verb tha uski past form likhi you put the main verb into the past part theek hai and the rest of the sentence remains as it is second example il va a paris he goes to paris now here you identify first the verb the main verb now va ale is the main verb now you check in your mind Does it fall under the category of Doctor Mrs. Wondertram? Yes. So this sentence will be conjugated with F. Conjugated with F means you will need to conjugate the verb F with the subject of the sentence. This is the subject you conjugated F with the subject, and main verb will be put into the past participle, the past participle form of the main verb, and the rest of the sentence. So this is the basic. Knowledge of passive composing. Now, whatever rule is going to follow, we're going to do that in the next class. This is what passive composing is. The main gist of passive composing. Now, how do you form it into negative? This is what I'm going to teach you side by side. Now, negation of passive composing. For example, the sentence we listed last time was "Il Il est allé à Paris." He has he went to Paris. Okay, if this is the example there, and you have to put it into negation, then how would you negate a sentence in passive composing? Please note. In the compound conjugations, compound conjugation means when you have two verbs getting conjugated at the same time. You remember having an infinitive after another verb. You put you conjugate just one verb and the other verb is in infinitive form in present tense. So whenever you have two verbs conjugated simultaneously, they are known as compound conjugation. So here, whenever you have compound conjugation in any sentence, the negation. Is always put with the verb, the auxiliary verb. Always remember that the verb which is conjugated. This is not getting conjugated. This will remain as it is. है ना? चाहे जो तू न्यू वो कुछ भी आ जाए, this will not change. Past tense will not change. This is fixed. This is getting conjugated. So we always put न पा before and after the verb which is conjugated. Here the conjugated verb is auxiliary. F. So we put the and pa 
before and after the conjugated verb that is oxidant. This is the way we negate a sentence into passe compound. Okay. This is negation. Okay. Okay. This is negative. Now, what if I had to form it into interrogative? See, obviously, you know how to form it into interrogative in the first or the second form. Yes, we are that, or first form, the intonation we are here. In word, kaise karenge? Kaun sa verb aage laenge? Which verb will bring in front of the subject in inversion? Auxiliary. So, this will become. If I have to convert this sentence into an interrogative sentence, the auxiliary will be placed before the subject. That's the negative, uh, that's the interrogative part. Now, if it is negative interrogative, then Negative interrogative, asking a negative question. Hasn't he gone? Uh, didn't he go to Paris? Okay, you're asking a negative question. So this was the negation normally. So now we have to ask a negative question. So this is what how we would put it into interrogative. So we put no before the verb, and because there is a hyphen, we cannot. Uh, separate them. I have told you before also they are married. There is a reunion here. So they cannot be separated. This is a negative interrogation. Now see, don't get confused because of so many verbs, because so many words are being listed. It is nothing. It is very, very easy. Look again carefully. This is a normal Passive composite sentence. Okay, so you have seen from the example. He said that he went to Paris. He went to Paris. That's the sentence. Now, if I want to say negative, he didn't go to Paris. Then, this is the negative interrogative. Okay, 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 this is the just remember one sentence in all these four forms and you will not go wrong. When you try to remember a hundred sentences in four forms, then that's a problem. Just remember one sentence, then you would know the placement, the exact placement, the auxiliary, yada, no, yada, pa, yada. Now, we put no before the auxiliary and pa after the auxiliary and the rest of the sentence remains as well. अगर मुझे इस सेंटेंस को इंटेरोगेटिव करना होता क्वेश्चन में इन्वर्जन में चेंज करना होता तो मेन वर्ब पर हमारा ऑक्सिलरी रहेगा क्योंकि ऑक्सिलरी कॉन्जुगेट होगा तो वो भी आगे आएगा और अगर मुझे इसको नेगेटिव करना था इंटेरोगेटिव नेगेटिव तो इंटेरोगेटिव ये दोनों तो हट नहीं सकते तो इंटेरोगेटिव से पहले न एंटल इकट्ठा रहेगा उसके बाद पा एंड देन द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस रिमेन्स आगे Now, if you read this two, three times, and if I tell you to do a question, I will give you a sentence in which you will be doing it into this this form, this form, this form, and this form. You will get it quickly. I will just share one example. I don't want to confuse you. Let me put no. We prefer we prefer Coca Cola. Now this is the example that you're going to do in all the four forms. First, you will put it into passive compose, then into negative, then into interrogative, and then into negative. This is what I want you to do right now. 
now i will discuss how will we will we convert this sentence into all these four forms that i have listed above now for first one would be simple past tense now if this is the sentence you prefer the coca we prefer coca cola your the sub the verb in the sentence is prefer now prefer i would check if it falls under the category of dr mrs wonderfram or no no it doesn't although we have a p in dr mrs wonderfram but that p is for party or pasipar so here this will be conjugated with abua so we conjugate abua with me no zabo and we put the main verb into the past form the past part of it no zabo prefere and the rest of the sentence remains as it is so how many got this right the first one how to change into past and present how many of you got this correct this is the way we would change it into simple past form passive composite now to change it into negative passive composite we will put n before the auxiliary pa after the auxiliary and the rest of the sentence remain as it is how many got this correct can i see a thumbs up the negative part also ma'am i got correct okay now to form it into interrogative we bring avo before so this becomes avo nu prefere na coca interrogative i have one screen wherein you all are on the gallery view so i get to know the moment you raise hand the moment you press thumbs up i can see it on my laptop that is why i always ask you after doing a sentence have you understood when every one has raised thumbs up then only i move ahead otherwise i wait and for negative interrogative navo nu pa prefer la coca now this is the way we would change any sentence into past tense into negative past tense into interrogative past tense or into interrogative negative past tense this you if you are able to do this if you have been able to do this example then you this is half battle won theek hai you have actually attained more than 50% in passive composite now there are small rules uh adjoining rules with the form of ethro that we will do later on but this is it this is the gist of the topic passive composite if you understood this much if you have been able to do this example in all four forms and if you got it correctly then you have got passive composite in your head correct and i must tell you this is a new tense and repetition is necessary to drive the point home so you need to repeat you need to watch this lesson again you need to do the exercises now from today till we have the next class you need to practice passive composite daily so that you don't forget do not give a break of even one day you need to practice it daily every day even if you do just 10 questions you have to do it please make it a point that from today onwards you will be doing passive composite daily and in the next class we will be going ahead okay i will increase the level further but if you have understood this you will understand everything now what will come when there is negation negation then are uh, you in day changes to de all those rules will be applied from negation also so negation and passive composite will be integrated 
then you will have negative expressions with caustic composite how to put those jame uh, person all those expressions in caustic composite so ab sirf wo integrate hota chala jayega but this is caustic composite just theek hai if you've understood this you will be able to do any question ab iske andar koi bhi choti choti modification kahan pe kis jagah pe kaun sa rule hota hai wo ab hum dheere dheere kar lenge you don't need to worry about that. but this was the main thing and if you've understood this if you've been able to do this sentence then you're true now you know basic concept got it now i hope now you understood why i had asked you to learn dr mrs wonder tram even without knowing what does it mean and the past participle of it now you understand now you can if i give you any sentence here you will be able to do because you know the past form of every word all the exceptions you've learned so ek class mein aapne past composite 50 se zyada hi kar liya matlab 75% tak ke past composite aapka ho gaya now we have tidbits remaining which we will do and please practice keep on practicing if you don't practice you will lose on the point in the next class we will be moving ahead and we will also be doing the different rules related to etro the different ways in which the there are changes when we have the verb etro you can then after that we'll go over to transitive and intransitive when the verb is transitive what do we use when the verb is intransitive what do we use all those concepts will follow okay but this was the main part